Hey y'all, so this is just a quick transformation of my laundry closet. The first thing I did was go to Home Depot and get a big piece of plywood um, and had them cut it cut it for me um, to fit the dimensions of my closet. I really wanted a laundry clown on top so that I'd be able to fold clothes. I don't have a big laundry room, I just have a closet. So I really wanted to utilize the space efficiently. Now, I did the uh, wallpaper, I recorded it, however that footage deleted, so I'm so sorry. But here is a quick DIY of a quick lint can that I'm creating. I got this from the dollar store and I'm just like wrapping around um, this like yarn that I got from the dollar store just to give it a little bit more sass and I use the E6000 glue. Another thing that I'm also doing in my laundry closet is I'm going to be storing all of my detergents and fabric softeners in storage containers that I got from the Dollar Tree only because it just looks better, um, saves space, looks it makes everything look uniform. So I went ahead and did that and then I added uh, these stickers from the Dollar Tree. Doing the same with my dryer sheets. Again, I got this storage container from the Dollar Tree for only a dollar, everything is a dollar. And then I just go ahead and throw my um, laundry sheets in there, my dryer sheets, and I go ahead and add um, the name on there too. Like, you know, so I got those stickers from the Dollar Tree as well. Everything is a dollar, so I love that. Um, they're really quick and easy to use. Like, you really cannot mess this up. And it just makes an ordinarily boring storage container look really stylish. There it goes. So I also um, got these two gallon liquid dispensers from Target. I love that they're plastic, so they're lightweight and in the case that I ever drop it, it won't break. Um, again, I'm using those same stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree just to label them so that everyone who's doing laundry, everyone means me, <laughs> will know that that's tied and that's downy. Um, and also it just makes boring, you know, containers look really nice. I'm extra, so I went and spray painted the caps. They were like originally the silver color, but I spray painted it a matte black. Just make sure you sand uh, everything before you use any kind of spray paint, just so that it has a better finish. Another thing I'm doing is I'm making these like quick little vases that I got um, from the Dollar Tree. Everything here is from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I am just removing the stems the leaves off of these I just don't like the way they look so I removed them and I just placed them right in the vase another project that I did for this laundry closet I created these succulent plant um, little vases and I just went and added um, some Gorilla Glue to the top perimeter and I'm using that same barn string um, around it because I just want everything to be uniform and I want it to have kind of the same concept so that it looks like I really put effort into this because after all I did so I'm just cutting the excess string um, making sure that that looks nice and neat and then I'll go ahead and move on to the next step and the next step is I use this little foam square cut a little square piece and I put it inside the pot and then I stuck the succulent plant into the foam and then I added these pebbles that I got from Dollar Tree everything is from Dollar Tree and they were only a dollar obviously and I just um, filled it up in there now for this step I'm using my husband because yeah this was a little bit more difficult for me so I'm actually installing the shelves in the laundry room and this is a really cool trick that my friend taught me is to use like you know sticking tape masking tape frog tape to measure the length of the, um, the shelf before you go ahead and screw in the brackets and then I just added the shelves and now I got both the brackets and the shelves from Home Depot they were really affordable um, and that that here is my transformation I love the way it came out I think it looks so beautiful I had these baskets from home goods for a long time I just put them in there so that I can store towels um, and that's that so I got this OXO grip OXO grip um, thing from Bed Bath & Beyond I'll link it down below 
those are my storage items all of these are from the Dollar Tree the last one I actually made myself with Dollar Tree items those stickers are from Dollar Tree the towels are you know from different places there goes the draft the succulent plants and I love the way it looks